everyone. I hope you're doing well. It's been a long time and no vlog, so I thought I would um, document my weekend, especially being the sewing weekender weekend. <laughs> so I thought I'd start the day off with a bit of a run. I'm not the most fit person in the world so I thought I'll go out for a run because I knew I was going to be spending most of the weekend sitting down and doing you know sewing and enjoying my sewing weekender so yes come along with me whilst we go for a little bit of a run or a walk whatever you call this <laughs> and um, yeah we're just gonna get our fit on and get back home to get started on a special weekend <laughs> today so I thought I'd take you along with me my sister-in-law has um, asked for a few masks like face coverings so I'm going to make her some face coverings but then it's also the sewing weekender so I gave myself about four hours to just get in there and um, socialize with everybody else it's been a really interesting week and um, I'm really pleased with the way things have gone this week we had our fantastic Ankara fabric appreciation week and it was excellent i mean i didn't expect it to go the way it went myself and lena we went we chose this week as we all know what's going on in the world we know how tricky the times have been with the virus we've had um lots of killings police brutality being like brought to limelight and lots of people are being more aware of you know the police brutality of um, black lives especially in america but then it happens everywhere else so um social media was really really intense the week before this week and um we didn't know whether it would be touchy it would be a touchy subject to bring up ankara appreciation week but we're pleased that we stuck to the plan and went ahead with it because what happened was it actually allowed lots of um, melanated voices to be heard people told their stories through Ankara fabric but then we also made it inclusive which meant that people from any part of the world African non-African white black everybody got the opportunity to share their love for Ankara fabric so it worked out so well because we used we used such a simple thing just the basic Ankara material fabric to unite people and the reception was just overwhelming I couldn't believe it Lena couldn't believe it we actually thought do you know what <laughs> we just had so many messages um, tags DMs and um, we're like can we just stop on Saturday please because we can't keep going so um, it was really good and I'm so pleased and thank you to everyone who um, joined in who contributed who shared their stories who shared photographs on our hashtag which is so Ankara fabric and um, if anyone is interested in inspiration ideas or tips on how to work with Ankara fabric if you go on Instagram there's a hashtag called so Ankara fabric you will get lots and lots of inspiration and ideas and stories from different people from different parts of the world oh it was it was just absolutely amazing and I can't thank everyone enough and um, especially Lena Lena is such a beautiful lovely woman she's got such a lovely heart as well and she's filled with so much wisdom and um, I'm so pleased that we work together on this I don't know if we're gonna do it next year if we've had a few requests for it to become a thing <laughs> We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yes, thank you. Right, so um, sewing weekender and make face coverings for my sister-in-law. That's what's on the agenda. But first, I need to prepare that pineapple over there for my little girl and get into my sewing room because it's me time. Happy 
happy so many of you have joined us for this. We can't believe how many tickets we sold. It's been amazing. And I'm sure you've all seen that all the proceeds for this are going to charity. So it's amazing. We're giving a really good chunk of money to some amazing charities. Um, Charlotte's going to talk you through those a little bit later on, but I'm going to just sort of explain a little bit about the sewing weekend for anyone who hasn't been before. Um, usually this is held in Cambridge. So with the sewing weekenders, what they've done is they've got, so it's online and it's, I think it's sewers from 300 and something countries around the world and everyone's just like tuning in at the same or at different times and we have videos from different people who are into sewing and um, people showing different things sharing different stories and things like that and it's been really it's I, I mean you know I think it's a good idea I think it's a good idea and um, <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for it so um, let's see how it goes Whilst I'm watching, I am going to be catching up on emails and after that, I'm going to film two videos. So I'm going, <laughs> I'm going to film a Q&A and Cara based Q&A and I'm going to film a video for making a pair of shorts. I need to make a pair of shorts for myself and I'll film the process as well. So I'll be watching and I'll be filming at the same time. I've been here doing some work and if you can have a look here you can see the weekend that I need to meet it. So um, what's been happening is um, everyone's doing their work, work? Everyone's doing a bit of sewing in their houses and we've, we're on a Zoom call now. So what's happening is um, people just like ring in if you want to have a chat with everyone else. You put your hand up <laughs> so organized and then when it's your turn you share what you've been working on yes yeah, lovely there's people from all over the world um i think this lady's from the states and it's her turn and uh, <laughs> i've enjoyed this actually it's so good i went to the weekend last year but i went as a speaker and this year i did a bit of a speech and um but then I get to part well participate by watching everybody else and doing a bit of sewing. I'm not sewing at the moment, actually. Do you know what? I haven't had the energy to sew. I've just been here faffing around. Anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to interrupt here. Rachel, Rachel, her dinner has arrived. <laughs> and she is too British and embarrassed to say that her dinner has arrived. So I'm going to, I'm going to send her off to eat.
editing the video and I realized that I actually didn't do an outro at the end of the sewing weekend and I thought I'll come up here to say yes I really did enjoy being part of the sewing weekend this year and to be honest I actually think it should be online going forward so I wonder what Rachel Kate and Charlotte are going to do but I think it should become an online annual event because um, you reach more people and um, you get to meet new people as well who you wouldn't have met if it happened in person. I really did enjoy it. It was, um, <laughs> even though you didn't see me watching all the other clips, I watched a lot of people's um, speeches and tutorials and um, information, you know, even at odd hours of the evening when the family had retired for the night. But it was good. It was really good. And I... I like the way that I was able to do other things in addition to sewing and I know it should be the sewing weekend which is like sewing where you create for yourself but yeah I managed to create my, my sister-in-law's uh, masks, film my videos, do other things around the weekend whilst engaging in the sewing weekend. Uh, but anyway thanks for watching this vlog and I do hope to do another vlog just like behind the scenes stuff <laughs> but anyway um all the best enjoy the rest of your day bye